Republicans who hopes to unseat Harry Reid in November is under fire tonight. This after Sue Loudon admits her campaign bus was a donation. Fox 5's Elizabeth Watts is live tonight at Loudon's local campaign office with more on this story. John, Olivia, this all came about after Danny Tarkanian's camp saw a soundbite with Sue Loudon admitting that her luxury RV campaign bus was a donation. Now the Democratic Party has filed a complaint, but Sue Loudon says she's done nothing wrong. Sue Loudon admits to a Reno news station her campaign bus was a donation. Why would anybody have to demean the fact that someone donated an RV to me for the campaign? It's unfortunate that some of their friends didn't donate to them. That raises some serious questions, especially with rival Danny Tarkanian. Well, wait, you can only get $2,400 donation uh, in the primary election. Obviously, the use of an RV for six months is more than $2,400. The Federal Election Commission says it's illegal for a candidate to receive contributions in excess of $2,400. The Nevada State Democratic Party says the bus would cost at least a hundred grand and has filed a complaint. This is the same as someone walking into Sue Loudon's campaign office with a suitcase filled with hundred thousand dollars in cash. Loudon says she's leasing the bus. A lease agreement sent to Fox 5 News shows Loudon admits she's not the owner, but the Democratic Party says the DMV shows she's a title holder. Her name is on the title, and under Nevada law, that means that she is the owner of the vehicle. Loudon wouldn't speak on camera tonight, but her camp released this statement. We are in full compliance with the FEC. This is a desperate tactic by Harry Reid and Danny Tarkanian, two people both losing by double digits to Sue Loudon. Tarkanian says she brought this on all by herself. She needs to take personal responsibility for the failure of her campaign. She's in a di uh, downward spiral. Her campaign's out of control. It's imploding, and it's all caused by her uh, own actions. And this is all coming about at a pretty bad time for Loudon. The most recent RJ poll showed that she was head to head with Sharon Angle. That's the woman that's running for Senate who was endorsed by the Tea Party Express. And Danny Tarkanian in that poll was coming in on, in third place. Now, early voting begins on Saturday, so we'll have to wait and see how this all plays out for the primary. Reporting live at Rainbow and 215, Elizabeth Watts, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. Things are certainly getting interesting, Elizabeth. Let's hope that will mean we'll see a good turnout for that primary in June. Thank you.